All right, welcome back. Um, you asleep or what? Yes. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't hey, have so one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest, the rest mostly most raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. scrap. So for now, Bruh. they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you song. out. Do not go muddy in the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? I did some sleep, is all. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date, completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corp's building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. The plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out? Want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Mm. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Doubt that's entirely true. I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, B? You're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Long story. Well, you assume awesome. I'd rather not hear, hmm? V, allow me to be blunt. I don't like that the particulars of this raid could venture outside this tent or this family. 
but do what you must. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. I wonder if I can do any um, upgrades. I don't think I can. Yeah, I only have 30. And if I go to my backpack... Hmm... Let's see what I can do. There's a reason I went to keep... Is everything in tier 5? Everything seems to be tier 5. Or at least tier 5 plus, you know? Yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. So I'm gonna actually go see the Ripper Dock for one final crafting session. Or upgrade session, rather. I can upgrade a few things, it looks like. Stabber. Well, actually, I can probably go defense. I can get some defense. So I get 145 more, yeah. Do I even have enough? 20, 285. Universal booster. Would this. It's 20. Oh, right, never mind. So I have, I'm good. 50 and I have 60. Yeah, let's. Uh, and I get 145 defense. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm, let's put it in. All right. Found. Let's do you, and you, and you, and you. Can't remember I put uh, health items and instant recharge. Okay, so decrease enemy vision. Reload screen AC. I think I'm gonna go here. Yeah. Seven twelve, nice. Okay, so that's a character technical ability. Okay, we good. We looks like we are. Prep that's coming just... along all right? <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. it, Bobby. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory... We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. How the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. 
since tomorrow's a big day already. How about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Okay. Talk later then, I guess. <laughs> Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Marhaba. Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You a tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, a sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice filled tub. I mean, we're dressed appropriately. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? <sighs> all right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, oh, Alt. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny, that he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You were out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. Think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny's made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. 
two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect then? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what Damn. happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Damn. Are you sure you're alright? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. I'm on my way. Damn. Fry her gear. Okay, let's go. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. 
and it's a great deck. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. That downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Damn. Ready, kid? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldo Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that welcome the way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo. Welcome damn. to the clan. Jack, it's incredible. See? She likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Makoshi, we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. This is sweet. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing, then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. It's a basketball and we found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? V, are you well or not? As snug as a glove. <laughs> Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Aldecaldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Alright, so first of all, let's go and, um... Let's take a look. So I got my Aldecaldo jacket. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. This is very nice, but um, I'm still gonna put my armor on because man's need that armor, you know. And then I am going to actually uh, change one of my fits and put all no, the other cut No, C I'll major, put... then G. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so mm, I don't have a place for office, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. So this is my regular outfit. Now let's put on that jacket. If I can find it. Where is my avocado? Yeah. Okay. So I'll put that on. And for top. What do I have equipped? For top, I have. I only have the black one. Or something blue. You know, something that actually matches. What is this? Nah, it doesn't fit the occasion. Hmm, we might just have to stick with what we got. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. And for shoes. I still think the armor boots are better. Yeah. Okay, let's uh... Let's talk to the nomads. Hey buddies. Might be the end. 
Where the hell is everybody? Look what the cat dragged in. I had it just a second ago. I swear. Okay, well, I'm gonna take everything, right? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. CNS Dakota seems to be feeling generous today. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially, take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. All right, just for you. I am taking everything. Even though I don't need them. All right, let me go talk to Mitch. Actually, let me talk to No Mask first. Yeah. First of all, let me see what I got. Power light machine gun. I mean, I have room. Unity. Like, I have weapons, so I, sh I just should not be greedy. Oh, this has stopped being a thing. Oh, what do I have for upgrading? Nothing. Night 52. Yeah, if only this wasn't non lethal. Oh, well, actually, let me just put something else there. Headshot damage multiplier. Armor penetration. Yeah. Okay. These properties belong to the civilized. She knew when she was right there. She fell deep down. You got other business? I too have got things to do. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. You're welcome. What are you playing? Know this number? I like this ending, actually. Maybe you guess the last moment. Damn, I like this ending. Very nice song. Very nice song. Y'all got a dollar for me? The sensors malfunction at higher altitudes. 
Well, we can't let it hover just above the ground. Not in those conditions. I'll see to the sensors. You keep checking the thrust. Maybe something is true. Just wait quiet. till I'm wait finished with her. That, that clunker of yours won't scare him. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, uh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Oh well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Mm. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Um... Think it's really that bad between them? The truth is we need cash and fast. Amen. This Mikoshi is a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. This is like a goodbye. I want to give Saul a fair chance here. Planned everything as best he could. He should start planning his own retirement. Mm. Would you want to take his place? <laughs> Not in a thousand years. So I thought. Let's focus on tomorrow. We can talk politics once the dust settled. I'm in. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Alda Caldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. I guess this also works for GD because GD wants to leave nicely, right? Alright, let's keep going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but. You good, Saul? Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow? No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping, because you got no choice. Want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, 
I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan. I get it. I'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? You good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. You done? Sure. Okay. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Revolver, Gotta keep moving. bottles, middle of nowhere, perfect. Hmm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Doubt I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Ooh. Let's find out. Let's, let's Are you that try. confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. What line? Step up to what line? And where am I shooting at? Okay, I'll figure it out. Oh, those buttons. All right, cool, 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 cool. First things first, though. Uh, let me go into my... Cool, because I need this here. All right. And, um... I'm gonna take points from here and here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put take two more points, so uh let's do you, so you, and you, and put a uh, reload speed, and you, okay, just gotta remember, I, yeah, okay, and then let's go into my inventory, and pick a gun, um, should I do a revolver, the arcane, arcane zone, What's the revolver? Why not? When in Rome, right? Okay, uh, yeah. Begin! Not bad. You could have done better, but you could have done worse. How how much I do? Break yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. How many bottles am I? Do? I gotta remember who I am. So, step up to the line. 
Begin! Oh my god. Stop! Not bad. You could have done better, but you could have done worse. Wait, how many balls did I do? Mm, come on. Twelve balls in fifteen seconds, is that what it was? I literally did like forty four and forty four, so I can do this. Begin. Shit. Oh. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Begin. Oh my god. I can't stop from hitting the fucking bottom. I need a counter. Stop! I need a counter. Oh, I have a Sandeva stand, though. Bruh. I wonder if I can activate it. Begin. Yes, I can. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my fucking god. Stop! That'll do almost, kid. But practice makes perfect. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Wait, does that, was that it? I can't even tell. I cannot even tell. Somebody count. I literally have a San Devastan and I forgot I to use it. In my defense, in my defense, right? I usually, uh, I mean, I am a natural born netrunner. I'm just trying out the San Devastan build. And uh, yeah, that's how we're here. Okay, let's try this again. Begin. Oh my god, come on, man. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? I obviously suck at shooting. Yep, 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 yep.
Begin! Oh my god. Yo, this is ridiculous. Ugh. Stop! That'll do almost, kid. But practice makes perfect. Almost, Break the kid. Almost. No. No. I should just count myself. I just need 12. And I freaking have a Sun Devastan. This should not be difficult. Okay, now I'm gonna lean forward. Begin. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nice. Stop! Oh my fucking god. Okay, maybe I should just try a different gun because this ain't working. I need steady hands. Oh, is that what? Eight or nine? Yeah. Oh my god. Stop! That'll do almost, kid. Oh my fucking goodness. Ah! Uh, what gun am I using? I I think I'm using my own gun. Begin. What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Whew. Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Have we talked to the nomad still? All right. Uh, let me go back and swap to my Congo. And then I'm gonna make my character here. I'm gonna cool and take it all of you. Yeah. 
Okay, let's uh die old age waiting for you here. Thanks, Cass. You earned it. Yes, I did. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Okay, let's see what I got. There's a revolver. I don't see it. Where's the revolver? Amnesty. Uh, oh. Hit firing and lighting the headshot immediately after grants this weapon. Weapon guarantees a crit, crit damage. Very nice. Okay, we gotta find more people to talk to. Who else? Who's here? Who was it we gotta talk to? Seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard. Screw you all. All right, come on. No, no, C major, then G. Okay, okay, hold on. I've already done this. So. Hey, I stink at this. Okay. Hey, no any samurai songs? On a night like this, oh. I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, sister. Know this number? Okay, now I can talk some bench. All right. That's hey. right. I'll go things. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Let's do it. Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. And the star Got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Oh. Oh. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. That's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? Yeah, we are. Oops. Take her now. 
I get picky about parking. Uh, I bet you do. Okay. All right, join the panel when I'm ready. And it looks like I'm ready. Oh. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Hmm. Four to five. Like, do I have any reason to... I, I should just put everything into technical, to be honest. Yeah. And I should just put everything into technical. Like, I have no reason to do otherwise. So, not afraid of anything at this point. If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, yeah, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow. Once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mm. Mm. Earth to V, Mitch, your cogs are grinding. Not be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Oh, I definitely follow. But I'm gonna pause it here. I know it's an odd place to pause it, and I'll be back shortly. Find out in the next episode of Cyberpunk 2077.